61A, lecture number 11. Announcements. Midterm one has been graded, and many of you did very well. Nice work overall. It's quite impressive to see how much you've learned in just four short weeks. So, excellent job. If you didn't get the score you want, please be aware that high scores on homework and projects tend to balance out exam scores in 61A. And so, you don't need to worry as much as you might think. Typically, around three out of four students receive A's and B's in 61A. I posted the mean, which was just above a 25, and um, that should give you an indication of where you stand. And the standard deviation was 8.48. So, that's the kind of exam that it was. Certainly a very challenging exam. I think you did fine. And just because you lost a few points doesn't mean you need to panic that you're going to fail the course. But if you did get a score that was considerably lower than the mean, you might be worried that you're falling behind. The key to this class is not to fall behind. And if you've noticed that you're doing so, I'd recommend looking for things that you can change about the way that you approach the class. Come to class, especially discussion and lab and come to office hours, feel free to come to office hours with questions about particular examples from discussion or lab, in addition to looking for help on homework and projects. If you do these things and you keep working hard, you can certainly get on top of this material. I guess the last thing I'll say is that this midterm does not determine your grade or your future in life. It's a small portion of the total points. There's some midterm recovery policy that's been posted, which will help you earn back points if you got a particularly low score. And most of the points in this course are yet to come on midterm two, the final, and all of the projects that you have yet to do. So don't worry too much, keep at it. If you want to have a conversation with your TA, that's a good idea and they'll give you some pointers on how to succeed in the course. There's also a Piazza Post that tells you how to book time with our course manager, Andrew Hua. If you notice that there's something wrong with the way you graded your exam, we're happy to fix that, and regrades are due uh, by Sunday. You just click a button on grade scope, and it will fire off an email to whoever graded that question, and also an email to me. These days I get a lot of email. One thing I'll say about regrades is that you shouldn't just click regrade on every question or we will get annoyed. So please make sure that you actually think you deserve more points before requesting them back. This Saturday we'll have gorilla section number two focused on recursion, one of the most important topics in this course. So I recommend that if you haven't mastered recursion yet, you take this opportunity to do so and it will certainly help you complete homework three. Please RSVP on Piazza if you want to come so that we know exactly how many people are coming. This Saturday has a special format where there will be two sessions. The earlier session will be for people who are willing to stick around and help teach the second session. All the details are on Piazza. Please check it out and come on Saturday. Homework three is due on Wednesday. There will be a homework party on Monday. Details are not yet determined, but I'll let you know as soon as possible. And there's an optional hog contest, which is due next Wednesday as well. 